Whether I live or die is immaterial. It is enough to know that there are people who commit time, money, and energy to fight this one evil among so many others predominating worldwide. If they do not succeed today, they will succeed tomorrow. This powerful statement was delivered by indigenous Ogoni activist Ken Sarawiwa prior to his execution on November 10, 1995, along with eight other Ogoni activists falsely charged with murder by the military administration of General Sani Abacha of Nigeria. Ken Sarawiwa with the Ogoni communities of the Niger Delta had been protesting the degradation of their lands and waters by the transnational Royal Dutch Shell Company as enabled by the Nigerian government. Since the onslaught of colonization, stories of indigenous people's heroism have risen along with the people's resistance against plunder and colonial oppression. Global crises such as this year's COVID-19 pandemic highlights the fact that centuries later, the problems from colonial times have remained and even developed into new forms and styles of exploitation and oppression. Across Africa, Asia, North America, and Latin America, indigenous peoples continue to be dispossessed and displaced from their ancestral territories by both state and private entities that still use the backward and capitalistic interpretations of the concepts of development, peace, and security as justifications to undermine IP rights. In the Pacific, the indigenous people's campaign for denuclearization and climate justice goes side by side with the island state's struggle for self-determination from occupation and exploitation of their abundant resources. In this present-day society corrupted by imperialism, the few elites continue to build their riches from plundering the people's lands and resources, while rights defenders, including indigenous peoples who relentlessly fight for land and life with dignity, are either sidelined or vilified, and called terrorists, separatists, and other criminal labels as an attempt to discredit their resistance and legitimate demands. However, history has also proven that real power lies in the collective action and solidarity among the oppressed. On the 10th of November, the International Indigenous Peoples Movement for Self-Determination and Liberation invites indigenous peoples, communities, organizations, and advocates all over the world to take part in a global day of action on Indigenous Peoples Heroes Day. We pay our highest tribute to the Ogoni Nine and many more of our ancestors, our brothers and sisters, in the past and the present, who contributed to forging the path towards the liberation of indigenous peoples as well as of all other oppressed peoples. Let us remember them by forwarding the struggles and demands of indigenous peoples especially in these times, the powers that be attempt to revise history and promulgate the narratives that criminalize dissent and the struggle for self-determination and liberation.